everything's pretty much ready. Let's double check everything. The homeowner coated it themselves, so I'm just paid to do the texture on it. It's all masked off, floors thing. Let's go get the compressor, the hopper, get our mud ready to do a spray knockdown. All right, gonna need the trusty air compressor and the hopper and joint compounds for spray knockdown texture. I was just hired just to do the texture. The homeowner did the mudding, coating themselves on the bottom part of their wall. They weren't too confident in their abilities to do the spray knockdown texture. So it's an easy job for me just to come in and mask the area and do a spray texture and knock it down. So we're just going to do an easy short video on spray knockdown. Spray the pattern. I'm going to spray it. Cross it off. Type extra detail in your angles, extra detail in your base area, spray it nice consistent pattern. We're going to spray it and then we're going to knock it down. I always knock down with a clean six inch knife, my nice square six inch knife, lightly knock it down. I'm just gliding over it, glide, glide, glide. I'm not pushing down, no pressure. The knife, I'm just barely holding on to it. Just gliding over it, nice same glide pattern on all of it to create the knockdown. Sometimes wetting the knife helps the moisture on the knife helps glide it over. So I always keep a damp sponge with me and a clean six inch knife when I do knockdown patchwork like this. There's other big knives out there, but just use a six inch knife. If I got my capped off joint compound, I'm going to have, go ahead and dump the water in there and mix it up. So let's go ahead and mix up our texture joint compound. Same mud I used the other day. Nice and mixed up. And I use this every day until I run out and then I dump in another box. Keep it capped off with the lid on it. It'll last me, get me through the whole work week with these smaller jobs. Bigger jobs, I'll burn through some mud, but these smaller patch jobs, like this one, will probably just need a hopper full of mud and then clean up the hopper and then move on to the next job. Let's go ahead and get the air compressor set up, get it full of air, get everything checked, locked and loaded, and go spray this wall out. I like this one because it has enough pressure to do jobs like this. The SCFM. This motor, it's a bigger motor so it can make a lot of pressure. I'm not waiting on the motor to keep up with me as I'm using up the air pressure. Hopper. This is the hopper I like to use. The middle tip. There's many tips. The middle tip's what I use. The go-to is the middle tip. But now I'm going to just get all this ready and dump the mud in here. My fancy hopper holder. These guys, they sell these tripods, bipods for hoppers. Just stays upright in a water bucket. Look at that. I don't have to go buy these gimmick tools, carry a bunch of stuff in my truck. Good old fashioned water bucket. Ready to go when I'm ready to use it. Six inch knife. Let's go inside and get this hooked up. Get the, get the tank full of air and then we can move on to the next step.
you start spraying just keep a nice pattern a little more effort in the angles detail base area angles around boxes you can go any direction up down vertical or you can go side to side horizontal just nice consistent pattern not just spray everywhere you got to keep a nice consistent pattern do a nice splatter the air compressor set up let's go get our hopper full of mud and get this sprayed out all right this won't take much mud hopper dump our mud in let's go inside and spray this do a nice spray splatter and then knock it down that's all a knockdown is it's a splatter texture that's knocked down I always keep a damp sponge, clean sponge with me when I do knockdowns and a clean six inch knife ready to go. Let's go in there and get this textured. just be a splatter texture, a nice splatter, which is nice, splatter is nice, but the original texture here is a knockdown, so I'm going to go knock it down using a six inch knife and my wet sponge. Nice knockdown. Just take your time.
hit. Nice. You see any missed spots, you can just go over it. But sometimes easier just to let it be and sand it. I also like to finish off with a wet sponge on the outside edge to get rid of any little boogers. You don't want your masking to sit overnight. Once you're done texturing, pull your masking. Most people want to leave it up overnight to paint, but no, you pull your masking and you're just going to have to remask to do your primer and painting process. It's easier to pull it now because sometimes that texture will dry and then you pull your masking away. And then I'll rip the drywall paper or the texture along with it. That's a nice textured wall. It's simple. I just let it dry for 24 hours. Lightly sand it, primer, then paint. That's a spray knockdown. Pull your masking. You can also double check. Always double check your work. Make sure you got everything knocked down areas that's why I like to knock down with the six inch knife because you hit every square inch and you're knocked down hold your plastic pull your mess go put away the hopper clean up the hopper put everything away and that's pretty much it just stay away from the wall for a day or so and then it'll be ready for paint I always say 24 hours or so overnight yeah, that's just a basic video on how to do a spray knockdown.